Well, hello everyone, Larry Satchwell here. Huh. Working on my next project. This is gonna be a challenge. I know you've heard me say that before, but every new project like this builds skills. Alyssa wants some chairs to go along with that table I made for Eli for his birthday. So for Christmas, I'm gonna to try to make a couple of chairs. The chairs she wants are on Home Depot's site, but they're $141 for two chairs. And that seems a little excessive for me for children's chairs. We have three different children's chairs we picked up at garage sales and, and uh, Goodwill, and they're all three different sizes. None of them are as large as the two chairs that she wants. This chair has the exact same shape that I need. These two chairs are gonna require bent lamination. It has the shape, but it's a little bit small. So in order to accommodate the size, I have a fender washer here that's got about a half an inch from the inside of the hole to the outside of the edge. So I've glued together, hot glued together some scraps here. And what I'll do now is put my pencil in that center line and let the washer roll against the chair. And that will enlarge it by an inch, half inch on both sides. Once I have that, I can take it over to the bandsaw, cut that out, and then use that as a pattern to cut out three pieces of three quarter inch plywood that I can use to build the bent lamination form. This is gonna be a long build, so let's get started. Christmas is coming fast. The whole build revolves around getting this bend in the uh, skirt of the seat correct. So I've cut it in half while it's still square. I've got them both exactly the same here and I'm getting ready to attach them right here. So I need to separate it. I had it uh, on there with the old uh, painter's tape and CA glue. Bottom isn't so critical, it's the top, and that is perfect up there. So I've got the pattern underneath here and it's secured to this big board, and so now I'm gonna use the uh, patterning bit to copy that. put on another layer. I want to get at least uh, two inches here. Repeat. Here's the piece of wood I'm going to be using. It's a hickory. Hickory's brittle. I know that. I was hoping I could bend it cold, but that's not going to be the case. I'm not sure I can bend it after soaking it. So here's the plan. Uh, this is about an eighth of an inch thick. I'm going to soak this in the bathtub in some hot water. And while that's soaking, I'm going to give this a good coating of shellac. Uh, this plywood already had shellac on it. I don't remember what it was off of. So uh, I'm going to go soak this. Uh, there's no point cutting any more until I know this is going to work. And then I'll have to switch to a different wood if it doesn't. Well, this is exciting. I, uh, it's only been soaking a little bit. The shellac is just barely dry, but I've got it around the curve and it didn't crack. This crack was already in there. So next I'm going to cut the lengths, the, the widths the same size. I am not going to plane them or sand them. So I have a three inch PVC and I have five pieces in there. I only intend to use four, uh, three of them. I have two extra pieces just for case of breakage. Ah, time to add some water.
All right, I think I'll leave it in there. Maybe, let's go for 10 minutes. I've got some big gaps back here I've got to deal with. It. That's why I have these. I hope they'll work. You know those new clamps with the handles up on her on the bars? Would sure be handy right now. They're sure expensive. But for a job like this, it's just what I need. I can't close this gap. There it goes. Let's try a screw clamp on there. So these calls are worthless. I've got a gap right there I need to deal with. So I've learned a lot on this first one. There's no glue here. I'm just trying to bend them and then let them sit in this form overnight. And then we'll worry about gluing them. I'm not sure this clamp is too big to go in there. Put smaller one. So I've got a little gap here, but the rest of it, man, looks good. When I glue it, I won't be in such a hurry. I'll use uh, Type on 3 so I have an open time. And uh, I think I can modify the calls here now that I know the angle. And uh, I'll be able to uh, pull those in a lot better. So we'll put, leave this in overnight, let it dry good, and repeat tomorrow. I made some modifications this morning after I took this out. I uh, put some tape on here, some packing tape. I cut this out so I could use um, my hands better on the handles. I elevated on some old two by fours, and I've decided to use um, some uh, construction adhesive instead of the uh, Type Bond 3 that I had planned on. None of them broke, I'm really happy with it. So now it's just a matter of uh, spreading this glue on and uh, clamping it up. It should go a lot better than the, or a lot easier, I'm hoping, don't wanna jinx myself, but I'm hoping it's gonna go a lot easier than the uh, wet glue up. I don't particularly like working with this kind of glue, uh, but it's strong and it will uh, fill in any of those gaps that I might have, I think a lot better than the Type on 3. Cleanup is with Mineral Spirits. Oh man, they're so hard to pop. All right. and it will probably stick to my form.
but it has a nice open time, which is good because it looks like it's going to take me a while. Well, this has to set up for 24 hours so I can work on other projects. I need two of these before I can start working on other parts. One for the um, uh, skirt for the top of the seat and another one as a stretcher. And the stretcher is going to be slightly longer than the seat, but uh, I think I'm off to a good start. All right. Well, I'm going to put glue on the rest of these. There's no point in filming it. Well, I did get a little more proficient at gluing it. Uh, as it went. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did modify these. Let's see, I think I want to try to pull one side all the way around. Just hold that in there lightly. Got some lines on here. Uh, still a good gap there. Too much of a gap. Boy, giving me just some extra hand room is a lot easier. This uh, construction glue allows it to slide a little bit, and these gaps are closing up. Oh man, that made a difference. Now if I can sneak this one, there's a little gap right here, but I think this uh, clamp will prevent it from sliding. I need to open it up just a little bit. I'm going to need this to the very end, so that's why I'm going to clamp them, the overhang here. <sighs> well, we'll see what this looks like in 24 hours. I've got a lot of squeeze out on the bottom and the top. I hope I can get it off of this form. I was uh, able to take a screwdriver in after the groove set up a little bit and work most of it off of the outside. Let's see if we can get this bad boy out of here. pleased with that. It looks big. It looks really big. 14 inches. All right. I need to make two more of these. My plan is to use one each on the right underneath the seat and then to split one in half to use as a stretcher. And it looks like I can do that. Next part of this video is going to be um, making the legs. What is that cat doing? <laughs> 